It's a part of our work, even a part of the work we are carrying out in tropical regions, devoted on how some plants that live underground, under the forest, I mean, so that, that do not have access to light, so that cannot be photosynthetic, are living simply by using the carbohydrates they recover from their fungi. And those plants uh, that are densely colonized by the fungi, well, there are several questions. Which are the fungi that uh, provide them with carbohydrates? And where does the carbon come from? And what we found is that in some tropical regions, the rule that is known for such plants from temperate regions doesn't apply. For example, we found for the first time that some plants, some of those non-green, non-photosynthetic plants, were able to use dead wood or dead leaves by the way of uh, their symbiotic fungi that were saprobic fungi using those leaves, using those dead wood to obtain carbohydrates. So the interesting point in this story is that we find here a totally different functioning as compared to temperate regions. By coming here to um, uh, tropical ecosystems, and there are many different tropical ecosystems, by the way, uh, we can have new pictures, uh, new understanding of mechanism and biodiversity. And what is behind is that we may understand slowly that some features that are usually considered as very general are only related to temperate regions. The second one is that not only the biodiversity in terms of species number, but also the biodiversity in terms of, of functioning, interaction between species is higher in, in tropical regions than in temperate regions. Those new way of functioning that were hitherto unknown are true not only for microbial fungi, but recently a lot of uh, work have pointed out that endophytic fungi, fungi living in leaves or stems of plant, had totally different diversity, role for the plant, and specificity level as in terms of host interaction as compared to those that were previously known from temperate regions. So this may be a very general trend that we have a, a huge functional diversity that remains to be discovered here.